he has said that you are to be born again. That means he had to do this work and that you have to get it sometime. He had promised that you are to be born again. Christ is to be born within us. I don't know what Christians understand out of this. How do you become born again? Not by going through a ritual of christening. Somebody coming from a theological college cannot make you a Christian. Like in our India, we have some paid Brahmins, as you have here, paid people, you see. The whole day they will eat, drink, be merry in evening time, they will come and pray and preach. That sort of people. You have to be a person who is authorized by God. Unless and until you are authorized by God, you cannot give joy. And that's why I've seen all these people, the so-called big pundits and the big uh, priests and all of them are so serious because they are not authorized by God. Even on a Christmas day, I mean, anybody who comes from a village may think there's a funeral going on. <laughs> and after the funeral, they go home. And how do you celebrate? With a champagne. And after the funeral also, a real funeral also, they'll celebrate. The f I don't know why, but they take champagne. How can we celebrate Christ? by insulting him. He came to enlighten your awareness because he respected your awareness, the point at which it had reached. But you are trying to put it down. Is this the way to understand him? And he has promised that you are to be baptized, you are to be born again. And now in Sahaja Yoga, this promise is being fulfilled. So be joyous that here at the Agya Chakra, again Christ is born within you and he is there and you know how you can ask for his help always. <coughs> but the main thing that one has to understand that the time has come for you to get all that is promised in the scriptures. Not only in the Bible, but all the scriptures of the world, the time has come today. That you have to become a Christian, a Brahmin, a Peer, through your Kundalini awakening only. There is no other way out. And that your last judgment is also now. Only through your Kundalini awakening, God is going to judge you. How is he going to judge you otherwise? You think of somebody now. A person comes in now, he has somebody sitting to judge you. How? By how many hairdressers you have been to? How, how many suits you have stitched for the Christmas? Or what presents you have bought? And how many cards you have sent? And to how many people you have sent some other things which may not be very palatable. That's not the way. Or is it that at what price you bought all the things, the way we are particular? Which way are we going to be judged? My God, not superficially people say, so what depth have we got? Let's see. How far can we go in our depth? At the most, we reach a point where we are nothing but a concept again. So whatever depth we know goes up to only rationality, up to the concept point. Beyond that, we cannot reach. So how can we be judged? How do people are judged if you go to a doctor? He has his instruments, he works it out, he puts the light in, 
sees for himself and says, this is the position. And how your spirituality is going to be judged? How a seed is judged? By sprouting it. When you sprout the seed and when you see its germinating power, you know that it's a good seed or a bad seed. In the same way, you will be judged by the way you are germinated, the way you receive your realization, the way you retain it, the way you respect it. That is how you are going to be judged and not by the kind of dresses you are wearing, by the type of matching you do and the hairdressing you go to. Not by the big positions you occupy and the big politicians and big bureaucrats you become. Not by what kind of houses you have built and what kind of so-called Nobel Prizes you have won. You are not also going to be judged by your philanthropic work by that you think that you have given so much money, so much so. Because you, if you have given so much money, there will be big ego somewhere hanging and it will bring you down, your scale. This is a judgment in which the little feather is going to weigh more, much more than a ship. It's a different type of a judgment. of a personality. You can see how Christ was judged by human beings and how he was judged by God. He came and lived in the dried straw like a feather. His mother never felt his discomfort. In the same way, those who have not by their being oppressed others or taken operation are going to be judged as first class. In the Kundalini awakening itself, there are inherent defects. Inherently, the Kundalini has some defects because of your previous karmas. Because what you have been doing in this lifetime. Because the things that you have accepted as reality, which is just a concept. Because when you have not known the Absolute, whatever you will be doing, there will be a little of ignorance with it. Whatever you have done in darkness will have a particle of darkness in it. So without knowing realization, if you have propagated, oh, we are great saints, this, that, you will have no chance. If you think you are a very divine personality and you are already a realized soul, no chances. All the priests of all the religions will be the last to get realization. 